Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Final Fantasy 16. In the last episode, we've made our way all the way through the Great Woods. We were able to find uh, this little place here, which I forgot what the, basically this is Lost Wing, I think that's right up ahead is Lost Wing, but um, I forgot what they called this place, what was this place called again? Um... Orabel Downs, that's right, that's what this place is called. So we made our way here. Uh, we also stopped back at the hideaway to upgrade some of our gear and everything. But yeah, we're just making our way forward, trying to find the Icon of Fire. So that's pretty much it. We're just going to keep on continuing along with the story, fighting some guys along the way. And yeah, remember to like the video if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more. Without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, it should be right up here, right? Yeah, here we go. No sign of the royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout. Subtle. Really, Sid. <laughs> I don't even know what he looks like. And this seems a little counterproductive here, buddy. I don't think I'm going to be the best at this job. Abandoned. Can it? it? Looks like it. It's a little disturbing. I mean, everything's lit though, so someone has to be here. That sounds what? like a child. Uh oh. It's all right. I'm not one of them. My friend and I, we're... with the Imperial Army. And we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In... in the church. Then I'm going to find them, and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here? Until then. To the church, then. Poor hmm. thing. So did they lock all the citizens up in the church and she just happened to get away? Oh. Said, hi. The church, I know. I'm one step ahead of you. You go in through the front, <laughs> I'll take the rear. Anyone stands in our way, the other can stab him in the back. Sounds like a plan. Maybe not necessarily a good one, but a plan. <laughs> Just gonna barge in the front entrance. Uh, there's no one in here. Stairs, that's why. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to see was there anything. Ah, we got information on Lost Wing. Okay. Cement located at Central Sandbrook. Sandbrook. I still need to figure out how to say that. Uh, on the northeastern edge of the Great Wood, having initially found prosperity as a stopover point for traveling traders, it fell from favor when newer, better roads bypass it. It eventually fell off the map entirely. The village is built both in and around fallen ruins, and the that the people of Lost Wing claim was once called an airship. Okie dokie, let's get back to it. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Stand back. Who the hell are you? Clay! Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. I'll give you one 
guess where he's going. Clive, after him. Kind of surprised he never uses his uh, powers in like cutscenes and stuff. Cause like I could have seen him like doing his little teleporty dash thing there. You know what I mean? Hmm. Maybe he doesn't like to use it often or something. I don't know. I really wish we had a sprint button though, cause I feel like we're running so slow compared to that guy. Run, Clive, run! Man, I feel so sluggish. Come on, give me a sprint button, guys. I really want a sprint button. Any word from the scouts? Not yet, my lady. But we are the dominance companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Care Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> my thanks. To our Lady of the Wind and the King! Ugh, the Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. To the Lady Benedicta, Imperials! And instead of killing them, you lead the rats straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> Look what we have here, boys. An Imperial Bearer. But I was getting bored. Up. That's what she said, anyways. Well, let's go ahead and drink one of our tonics. Okay, that hurt. I think I might actually need to fight a little harder this time. doesn't hit super hard, but it's really hit, it like dodges a lot. There we go. Nice. Burn. Okay, that was nice. I <laughs> didn't realize I parried it, that was cool. Uh -oh. Okay, that was my bad. I'm making stupid mistakes. slain. Some points, some good, you know, not as much as I thought. Uh, we got a cleric's medallion. 
Increases healing potency of potions by 20%. That's not bad. I don't think we'll need it, but that, that's actually pretty cool. And we got lots of material. Awesome. You've got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Clive! <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. Aha, we do get more information. Okay, Benedicta. Manner of the Kingdom of Luke's lead intelligence. Yeah, so we know that. Uh, and Truth Color of the Blade, who leads her loyal minions from the front after attending the negotiations with it. Yeah, we know that. Uh, where she crests the hopes of the Republican army while encouraging those of Hugo Kupka. She parted company with her liege lord in order to lead a secret incursion in Imperial territory. Okay. Uh, what about Gav? Says faithful scout who puts his luxury nose to work in tracking the movements of slavers, soldiers, and any other object of interest to the hideaway. The ever agreeable fellow only too gladly delving behind enemy lines if he can get a good story or two out of it. Okay, cool. Back to it. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked you a question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet, here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Holy oh, something is new. And she's gone. Did she say where she was going? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. <laughs> so, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Fuck any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offence. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brand. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the yeah. same thing. Yeah, this is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't help when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come hear the tale of Lord Teague on the bow, Whose tamed worms a thousand and slain but tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led And watched as a million foes turned tail and fled Um, okay. Well, we got information about a bard. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh, traveling minstrels who journey from place to place, performing in uh, hostelries across Valstea to the accompaniment of lute or lyre. They provide not only entertainment, but information on the state of the realm, off singing of significant events and important personages. The hideaway has its own resident bard that the illiterate amongst its residents might remain informed. Okay, cool. Those levels mounted its the sky's over 
Listen, Clive. Revenge won't bring him back. It won't. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me. And I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch. And bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Right. You're content to be a slave, then. Radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. <sighs> Okay, wait, 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 wait. I thought that Clive was the... the weird killer guy who killed... So wait, so Clive really was just there when it happened? Huh? See, I'm very confused because that didn't seem right because it was like whenever, you know, the... I think it's delete for it. I think it's who it is, but it, whenever it was killing the Phoenix, it looked like it was from his point of view, but not his point of view, but I don't know. No, it couldn't have been because you could hear Torgal barking, which means that maybe Clive was watching from afar? I don't know. I am very confused now. Maybe I was wrong this whole time. Uh, okay, let's look at what this says. An imperial stronghold located along the southern fringes of San Roqua, territory far from its capital of Oriflum. It occupies a key strategic position adjacent to the Crystal Belt and is suitably formidably fortified as a result. Within its walls, there are living quarters, a church, a gaol, a sufficient storehouses to see the occupants through a lengthy siege. And crystal fetters. A restraining device for bears and dominance that uses precisely arranged and activated shards of crystal to disrupt the flow of aether through their flesh, thus preventing them from priming or casting magics. So valuable are the materials from which they are made, and so rare the skill required to craft them, there are only very few specimens, specimens in existence, and they are only employed when absolutely necessary. Okay, back to it. Do be gentle with them. Clive. Mm. Wake up. Gav's back. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. 
The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way, <sighs> suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. Right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. Okay, so what do we do in the meantime? The dead of night. New stock. As the story progresses, new weapons and items will become available at the Hideaways trading posts. Current stall as well. Forge it. Yep, we know that. Because we went back at one point. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the tavern. And our best hope of getting a decent night's nice kit. <laughs> oh, what's this? That was just stuff on the menu. Chocobo stew. Do they eat chocobos? <gasps> they don't, do they? <gasps> we can pet Torgal. <laughs> He's so freaking cute, I love him. Oh, such a puppy puppy. Okay. Um, local map. Okay, we can open the world map. So is it telling us that? Oh. Oh. Okay, we're here, Lost Wing. Okay. No, I didn't think so. I thought we already went back and got the stuff. Okay, cool. What do you have for us, though? Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Pretty much all stuff we already have. Oh, we could actually buy crafting stuff off of them, though, if we wanted to. It's a little expensive, though. How much? Oh, we actually have quite a bit of gold, though. That's pretty cool. Oh, what's this? A new song. Wow, that is very expensive for music. How do we, do we get any valuables? I don't think we got any valuables. Okay, cool. Good day. Anybody else around here? Uh, no. Okay, so let's go ahead and meet up with the guy he wants us to meet up with. Where's the marker? I think it's this way, right? Yeah, there he is. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him. You won't believe me if I told you. Quentin here is an old friend. One who is... Sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? Then he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. What could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? The dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. 
You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears, as they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. May the mothers guide you. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Interesting. Really so, Quentin, the inscrutable landlord of Lost Wings Tavern and the leader of the village. So, basically, around here, his word is law. Lions, those who do not call the highway their home, but nevertheless lend their strength to Sid's cause. There are many in the twins who balk at the persecution of bears, but cannot find within them the courage to oppose it, knowing the fate awaits them should their uh, should their sympathies be exposed. Others taste that others take that risk, aiding Sid's bearer liberation efforts with information sent by Stolas, monetary assistance, or direct actions. Marks, emblems that Sid's allies distribute to those in their circle of trust. It is common for the rich and powerful of Valsia to pin such marks to their bearers in their possession that the slaves might go about their master's business unlusted. And last week, wow, that's, um, yeah, we read most of that. Presently, its obscurity service has covered a mask its burgeoning status as a safe haven for bearers who work the nearby vineyards for Quentin, uh, Elderman, and Cocos Bearer of Sids, while tasks of Gauntlet Rouge, aged in Lost Wing Cellars, provide the village with much needed income. Okay. Well, on that note, guys, we are going to go ahead and end this episode here, and in the next one, we'll go get some information from the villagers. So, I don't think there's any side quests or anything either, right? Yeah, we just got to go get some information. Cool. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!